All right, so I just got my AirPods today in the mail after waiting for a couple of months, uh, and I'm going to set them up on my iPhone. Uh, in preparation for this, I opened up Apple's support article about how to use your AirPods so we can follow along with the instructions here, uh, but the process is supposed to be pretty easy. So the first step is to open the AirPods case and just hold it close to your iPhone. Uh, and I should mention that before you do that, you have to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on on your iPhone. Uh, and uh, you know what? It doesn't say that in the Apple support article online, but it should. So on your iPhone itself, swipe up from the very bottom of the screen to open Control Center. And then you'll see the, uh, the Bluetooth icon is the center one, uh, and it's the one that looks like the B appropriately. So when you tap it, it'll either turn on or off. When it's highlighted in blue, Bluetooth is on. So make sure the Bluetooth is on, as your, on your iPhone before you uh, try to set up your AirPods. So I'll close this window by just tapping the home button. All right, now I'm gonna actually do it. Let's open the AirPods case. And you can, uh, the, the white light on the top of the AirPods case uh, should begin to flash. So now we see that the AirPods nice little animation appears on my iPhone screen. And I will tap connect. It says connecting. It says super califragilistic is AirPods. I should mention that we just came back from Disney World and I went in a little bit of a Disney kick. Uh, and you can have Siri call you whatever you would like her to. You just say, hey Siri, call me David. You would like me to call you David? Yes. Okay, David, what's next? Well, I think that next, we're gonna to continue to use our AirPods and record this YouTube video. <laughs> okay, so I'll tap done. Uh, it also shows you, so when you, when you first set up your AirPods, it shows you how charged the AirPods themselves are, so they're at 64%, and then it also shows another number underneath the case. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that the AirPods case itself is actually a charger. Uh, so you have to charge your AirPods and you have to charge your case. But the good, the good thing about that is, is uh, you'll get a few hours of battery life out of the AirPods themselves, but then you can put them in the case uh, and uh, charge them up uh, a bunch of times. So you get a total of about 24 hours of battery life with AirPods. Uh, and that means that you don't have to keep plugging them in and you don't have to keep plugging in the case. Uh, it's kind of like a battery case for your iPhone. So I'll tap done. And that's about it. That's the entire setup process for AirPods on iPhone. Uh, if I wanted to make sure that everything was working correctly, I can just head to settings. Hey Siri, open settings. And then I can tap Bluetooth. And I'll see that supercalifragilisticexpialidocious's AirPods is connected. Okay. I can actually change the name of the AirPods. I can do that by tapping in the name field. Now I can see that this is ridiculously long name that happened because of my nickname. So I'm just gonna double click on that, double tap on that with my finger, it'll highlight. And I'm just gonna change this to David's. David's AirPods. Perfect. Tap done in the bottom right hand corner. And then I'll tap back in the upper left hand corner of the screen. So that about wraps it up. We've successfully connected my AirPods to my iPhone. And if you need more help setting up your AirPods or if something went wrong along the way, uh, check out my article on payitforward.com that walks you through the entire process and uh, tell you what to do if something goes wrong. Thanks for listening.